Hello and uh, welcome back to my Let's Play series. While you were gone, I went ahead and built this. I don't. It, it's kind of lopsided, I think, on one side. But I, I'm gonna end up fixing it later. I just did this kind of as something just to throw over it, and just so I can find the back entrance to my mob spawner. But uh, anyway, let me get to this door. There we go. Anyway, I finished it off camera because it was just being annoying. It turns out I put the signs here on the wrong sides. I put them down going from instead of uh, like if I was facing this way from left to right, I put them from front to back. So I had to go fix all that, and uh, it was just annoying. And uh, I've been working on uh, working on my base a little bit. I have it carved out, and I'm ready to actually start building on it. But first, I need to get some of my materials. Let's see. Here we go. I need this. Some of this. Throw that in there. Take that. Take some of this. A bit of that. Straight chests up. I think I need to build some more chests. Okay, I already did. Okay. In a video or two, I will be building me a storage area somewhere. I haven't really decided yet of where I want to build. How many? Okay, I got plenty of picks of where I want to put it yet. But I will eventually get around to it. Wait. Yes, that's what I did. Okay. I'm trying to remember how I did it. I've made a uh, separate save file from this one. Oh, that was all my dark wood. Oh, well. I got a much back somewhere. Oh, there we go. I saw it. There we go. And then we keep some of that. There we go. That was just so I can be sure I have enough. So nothing comes in. Alright, so basically what I'm going to do is I figured out about right here, I think. Yeah, about right here. Is where I'm going to put a lava light. It's going to come all the way down to this point down here. Here we go. I'm going to put three of them up in the room. I'm going to go ahead and prepare the spots for it. I'm going to put three because that's all I really need. Let's see. Oh, wait, I realize I don't need those. I'm glad I remember things after I've done. Broke all the stuff for it. Now it's just going to look weird. But uh, I'm gonna fix it later, maybe. I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna start putting down some half slabs. Wait, I don't put half slabs there. There's gonna be a couple spots on the floor where I'm not gonna put half slabs. Dang it. There we go. It wants to not be hit, hit. Dang. Dang it.
But I carved all of this out manually. Because I know there's a program out there called MC Edit. I don't even know how to use it. I, I have it, but I've never used it. Like, I've looked at it. And I'm like, this looks kind of confusing. Okay, through here. In my next episode or so, I'm going to be showing off some of the mods I have after uh, I get a good stable supply of cobblestone. Because one of the mods I want to show is uh, Equal Exchange. It is, it's a great mod. I like it a lot. It's, it's almost cheating, but it's not because you can get diamonds from it, but it costs 512 individual pieces of cobblestone for uh, one diamond. So in my opinion, that's well worth it. And if, you, if you're not sure exactly how much that is, that's eight stacks. Because the cobblestone will transfer into redstone, and the redstone will transfer into iron. And the iron will transfer into gold. And then by the time you get to gold, you only have four pieces left. And there's a lot of nifty stuff that you can do with it, like, um, you get dark matter. Dark ma you can make dark matter tools and dark matter uh, uh, armor. And it's really awesome. The uh, armor, as far as I know, has no a additional effects other than protection. I think it protects the same as diamond, except it has no durability. Well, I mean, it ha it, it's infinite durability. Is what I better say. Doesn't have no durability. And, uh, the diamond. Not the diamond pick. <sighs> Look at me, I'm done crazy. The, uh, dark matter pick has a special ability whenever you have a, um, a certain amount of glowstone or redstone. If you charge it, it'll destroy all the ores in a certain area. Not not stone, but just ores. Like, I guess it's kind of... I, I don't really like that. I just use it to mine with because it breaks f faster than diamond or as fast as diamond when you have it fully charged. And just to charge it doesn't... You don't need any glowstone or redstone or... I think it takes glowstone blocks too. I'm not really sure. And then another really interesting thing is the dark matter furnace. It smelts things, I think, 400% faster. And I think it consumes just as much coal as, you know, however long it's supposed to run. I don't think you get any extra. Wait, I messed up over here. But it's really ridiculous to make dark matter. So it'll be a while before I'll be even to even attempt to think about making dark matter. Like, uh, probably... Minecraft will be officially released by that time. And there's also something called a growstone aggravator, I think. Where it takes and it'll turn normal blocks like dirt and and whatnot into uh glow uh glow um bleh, into glowstone. And it'll turn redstone into Glowstone dust. Which, I mean, that's not really that awesome. I mean, you have to leave it out in the sun, and it goes faster with more light you have. So, like, if you just leave it out in the sun, and then put a couple of glowstone around it, or put a couple of glowstone around it, it'll basically just be able to do it in 
I think it converts. It takes three minutes to convert one dirt block into glowstone, and it takes sixty seconds, I think, to convert redstone dust into glowstone. Which I mean, that's that's better than converting redstone dust with the uh, philosopher's stone. Because with the Philosopher's Stone, it takes three redstone dust per unit of um, glowstone. And I'm going to try and cram the entire living room into this episode if I can. It'll take me probably about... about probably four to five videos depending and there's also going to be times when I have to go and get some materials like uh, the lava I haven't got the lava yet I haven't really been playing this as much I've been you know playing um, uh, Skyblock Survival Challenge. I've been playing around with it. And it's a very interesting challenge. It's not, it's not difficult per se. It just takes a lot of time. Because you have to build a cobblestone generator. And it just takes a long time just to sit there and just break cobblestone, break cobblestone, break cobblestone. It gets slightly annoying at times. And there's objectives that you have to do, which are pretty easy objectives, like I said. There's one where you have to build a wheat farm, build a reed farm, build a uh, pumpkin farm, build a... Uh, what else you gotta build? Reed farm, pumpkin farm... Uh, you gotta build a house, which that's really easy to do. You gotta build a mushroom farm and make one giant mushroom. You have to build a spawning platform somewhere 24 blocks away from the island for a uh, mob to spawn. It's basically, a falling mob trap is what I saw one guy do. Which, I mean, that's probably about all you could do with it unless you wanted to uh, take and use the one bucket of lava you got for, a co for your cobblestone generator to make a lava blade. Which I would just rather take and use the uh, falling method. Oops. And so you're saying, well, leaving this little area right here blank just makes it look weird. But I'm going to fix it up whenever I get the... Uh, I just pulled that one back up after I placed it. Once I get the... Uh, let's see, That ain't even. I don't think... Nope, it's not. It's off by one block. Patch this up with smooth stone. And these are very interesting lights. I haven't seen anything like them yet. So as far as I know, I'm the only one who... I mean, they're easy to make. I just don't think no one's thought of it yet. But it looks pretty nice. In my opinion, it, look, it looks real good. I like it, and I'm pretty sure you will, too. And I'll also... I won't have to put all these torches around here. And stuff. Alright. Let's see. What else here? 